uh, tattoos that are done in prison, they're not the best quality. So they're typically easier to cover up. So this one was done while you were in prison? Yeah. Oh, wow. To me, I can already feel like a, a cleaner and better person knowing that it's going to be covered up, that I don't have to look at it every day. So you it, it makes me sick. <laughs> it's like your past. A tattoo is a permanent mark, and sometimes it's not a representation of who you are, but who you once were. New kid in town got jumped. They were a different race, and that in itself put me on a path to destruction and hate. And so the tattoo you got, tell me what it is in... It's a swastika with spiderweb. The spiderweb uh, contains the purity of the swastika. But basically, it is about hate. It's because you can't stand nobody but yourself and your own race. 12 years ago, Anthony Strance carried around hate like this tattoo, part of a past he can't erase, but wants to wipe away. Getting it covered up pretty much um, and erasing it from sight also erases it from the mind. Just this in itself is a big promotion, helping out the community for people like me that don't want that on their body anymore. That's not their lifestyle. They recognize, you know, it's not a healthy way to live. That's where Nick Pierce at Diamond State Tattoo comes in. Doing this is sort of a permanent way of changing, helping someone change something that they've done in their past. Like I heard something on, I don't know if it was a movie or on the radio, but it said, when you're gone, did you take more than you gave? And I just thought that was a cool little saying. And so I don't want to take more than I give. So when I do this, I mean, it does make me feel good, but at the same time, it's helping out somebody else. A father of twin boys, Strance wants to be the hero they see him as. One's autistic and he wouldn't fully understand and his brother actually asks, you know, Dad, what's that for? What's that for? And I have to lie to my son because I don't want him to know. I don't want him to even think about that kind of lifestyle. Pierce is erasing hate by covering up gang related and hate tattoos for free. Since February, he's covered up about 14 tattoos, projects that would have cost hundreds of dollars each. I've covered up some rebel flags, which some people don't believe that they're racist, and that's fine. But it's more the people that have the tattoo, they don't want somebody else to feel like they're racist. I've covered up gang symbols. This is the first swastika that I've done, but I know I have a couple more on the books. But rebel flags, iron crosses, um initials for gangs, um, symbols for gangs like pitchfork. Pierce is using his art to cover up a hateful past, offering hope for a future. I think that's a big problem because people can't let go of hate. You can't love anything. You can't love yourself if you're hating everything else. And so with a heart as big as Nick's and people willing to change, I, it's a great thing. I think you're brave to even go on TV and say all of this and admit that you have this. Well, you know, that's part of change. If you can't change even outwardly, even if it is, you know, so-called 15 minutes fame, it's not about the fame. It's the point of getting a message across to kids across America, everybody. We can't live with hate. So you just take time out of your own day to do this? Mm -hmm, every Wednesday. I do them from nine to five. Wow. Yeah, we, my wife and I help out at our church with the youth group. And so I leave early on Wednesdays anyways. Wow. So I just come in early. She works here too. She does permanent cosmetics. Really? Mm, like microblading and stuff like that.